All right, what's up, guys? Nick here with TGG Gaming. We're here at the Star Charity Tournament. Got a spicy deck profile for you. All right, what's your name and what'd you play, man? Uh, Joey Wozniak. Uh, played Speedroid today. Went four three last in the last round, but all my games were pretty close. So. Sure. Um, I just get uh, right into it then. Yeah, just pretty standard. Uh, Want to say that this is almost a strictly going second deck. Definitely, um, definitely. For reasons I'll go into. Um, this is for Machine Dupe. Uh, it's a bit iffy. Uh, two Den Den, two Red Eyed Dice, and Magnet. Um, I'll leave Magnet there because she's got explain that a bit. Uh, three win and two exceed as win support. Uh, this card was okay. Um, this card is obviously really good. Um, main deck, five kaijus. Oh, okay. Uh, these performed very well today and Definitely. that's the reason for this because, I mean, kaijuing your opponent's big boss monster, summoning that in some way, and then summoning Kite Drake just pull up the board. The rest oh. of the board is just kind of good. Sounds pretty spice. Um, oh, this is 60 cards. Um, a lot of hand traps. I mean, three Ash, three Lancia, uh, Gamma, and Drolls. Uh, I took out Nibiru last night. Um, I can't say for sure if I missed it or not. Because 60 cards, so I didn't definitely really know if I would have drawn it. <laughs> uh, spells, uh, three desires. Even though you're playing 60 cards, this card manages to fuck me up a lot because uh, this card is dumb and annoying in order to resolve its effects. Right. Uh, three machine dupe. Um, this is the package with the tri dice, a machine dupe, and uh, you know, even just a. Uh, Marble Machine is uh, two Crystal Wings and three Necro Gardeners, so right. it's pretty good combo. And you, obviously, you, can, you often do more than that. But Interesting, interesting. Uh, we got three Slumber. Oh, yeah. There they are. Um, I don't know, just a good card. Let's you get, get a one to your side of the field because you can special summon Gadarla. Um, so it helps you uh, get into your links. Right. Uh, three recovery. I have never been big on this card, but I played three today. I think I saw it twice this tournament, so I can't really <laughs> say whether or not it's good. Unfortunately, right. Uh, one and one reborn because it's pretty much just a better one of that. Um, people tend to overvalue this, but let's be honest because of the grave effect to banish and add a speed right from grave to hand. Right. But realistically, you're probably going to be dead <laughs> if, <laughs> um, if you make it to the next turn and are like actually trying to come back. Right. And then three Imperm. Oh, yeah. More hand traps. Yeah. And then do a side or extra? Uh, do extra. Got yeah, two of this. Uh, this card's very annoying. To resolve the search effect because especially pairing it with desires you have to keep it you always have to keep track of what's still in your deck what's not before you banish the the synchro from your extra deck because you have to banish the synchro from your extra deck with a level and then take two speederoids that equal that synchro monsters level and it can just get really complicated when you don't know what exactly is in the deck of desires or whatever else. Right. Oh, uh, one Apollosa. I didn't summon this today. I've summoned it in past tournaments, but I feel like you can still play it. Uh, one puzzle. Um, this card's pretty bad, but it did come up once for. I needed to banish a level four for this, but that's just about all its uses. Right. Uh, other than Crystal Wing, the best card. Uh, just ma lets you go into free crystal wings, turn after turn. Right. Um, Shambara. I very much underestimated this card. Obviously, you know, 
it's known for just it's 4600 damage and one card but um, I haven't played a lot online a lot and so I haven't realized this, how like powerful this was so this whole deck's purpose is to like pretty much clear your opponent's board turn one right or sorry your opponent's turn one board and then you know put up some sort of like offensive or like negate type stuff but um just this card and I just bumped this up to three so you banish it in a speed roid from your grave to give all wins 800 attack and with just these two alone that's exactly 8,000 right so you clear the board you summon this which is very easy because you get a search <laughs> off of this and an extra normal off of this um, and then you just swing for 8,000 did that a couple times Sheesh. sounds spice uh, charge warrior um, this and juju you do need a I do believe you need to run two sixes because you are banishing a six a number of times for that mm -hmm. so it's important that you still have one deck uh, this is just a nice card. Um, this is really cool when you boost it up by 800, so it's a 28, and then it can attack all your special opponents, special summon stuff. Right. Um, this card, this card steals games because some decks just don't have an easy out to it. And right. Th that's the fact that I just think these are like the two best sixes to run. You can run a. Uh, Kendama, but Kendama is only really useful for time because you just burn for five, your opponent for 500. Right. That's the only reason I ever played it. Uh, for sevens, we got one of each. Uh, you definitely need both because seven is probably the most common level you banish from this. Mm -hmm. And they're very matchup dependent, which one's the better one. Definitely. So, usually it's this, but I like to have them both. Uh, two crystal. Um, there we go. You probably could play three. <laughs> it does come up a bit. Um, but I just like to play two. Uh, one Kite Drake. This didn't come up too much today, but um, obviously it's just too powerful of a card not to run. Just being able to blow up your opponent's stuff and just search when it dies. Definitely. Um, I played a Stardust because I wanted... Especially with uh, like machine duplication, triad dice, it's nice to go into like a Stardust first before you go into the second Crystal Wing. If you want to just has a lot of back row rather than monsters, right. which is going to happen a good amount of the time because of like kaiju's and slumbers. Definitely. Got that um, altar too. Yeah. And oh, and it's um, it's it's the only fully generic one out of the level eights. So um, if you uh, if you synchro using your opponent's radian with uh, where is it the, uh, the 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 malicious magnet? This is the only thing you can go into because obviously you can't go into crystal, and that needs a wind and uh, it needs a machine tuner and like a machine non tuner. Right. So it's the only thing you can go to. And, but I want to play that just to have another name for Slumber in case, you know, Desires vanishes two of one because you need a, two names for Slumber. Right, right. Uh, and then last card is Shen Shen. This card is, is pretty good. Its main purpose is uh, it's the only uh, level nine generic wind synchro monster. So, obviously, one of the better kaijus is the Darla because it's a wind, so you can use it to make this. Mm -hmm. But if you have to use this to tribute something, um, you can uh, use Malicious Magnet, synchro with this to go into this. And obviously, some decks just can't really deal with it. Definitely. So, it's, it's good to have. And then, side deck. Um, the side deck's a little weird. Uh, one Pank. This card was pretty good today. I have no complaints about it. Uh, 
I just put in those, that was definitely the right move because this deck doesn't have enough macro hate, especially for mine. Uh, Feather Duster, that's pretty self-explanatory. Dark Ruler, I wanted to main this, but upon like figuring out that one of your biggest things to do is just clear their board and then make an easy OTK, mm -hmm. obviously this doesn't work well with that, so I decided to side it in. Right. Um, I played three Mask of Rich Trick because oh. I just wanted something for the Drytron matchup because I don't have uh, Psycho Readers, unfortunately. Okay, okay. Um, and this was probably like the next best thing. And interesting, interesting. The cool thing about like siding in the traps is because, especially if you win the die roll and tell your opponent you're going second, they're going to expect if they like win a game that you'll go second again. But if you're like siding the stuff in, you can go first and then they miss side, which can right. be pretty good. Um, I really wanted to just try this card today. It's a Vanity's Emptiness. Uh, if you have a dragon with 2,500 or less attacks, so you, you do, uh, you make uh, either Clear Wing Fast or Clear Wing Synchro. Uh, you play that, and then they can't summon anything if it has 2,500 or less attack. Um, obviously, this is for going first, and the one game I went first today, uh, I opened two tri dice, one red eyed dice, one den den, and a sweet recovery. So I think I'm probably just going to stick to second for the most part. And then <laughs> last card is uh, just the red reboot for more back row hate. Sure. Yeah, that's it. All right, would you say you were happy with how the deck performed today, or? Uh, yeah, and I haven't played much in the last couple of years, so I know a couple cases of me, of like my losses were due to like, not the cards, but me messing up. Um, it's a pretty difficult deck, partially because of how annoying this card is to use. Definitely. But, um, it's so much fun. I've had it. I built the deck the day the High Speed Riders came out, and then the next day I got my first regional top. So oh, nice! It was a special place. Definitely. Uh, Any changes you'd make or? Um, definitely consider cutting the tri eye dice. Um, the tri eye dice machine duplication package. It's just it's so powerful, but this card is just so bricky that it's. It's, you know, it's, do you open this, or do you open Machine Dupe? It's like a, pretty much like a 50-50, so it's probably not worth it. And then Desires is kind of sketchy, um, because sometimes you banish, like, a couple of your Dendens, or now you, now we only have one Terra Top, so you can you banish that a lot, which sucks. Right, right. Um, and you're going second, so you already have an additional card, so usually card advantage isn't a huge problem. But it's the only pot this deck can use. Right. You can't use any of the newer ones. And any uh, final words or shout outs? Uh, shout out to Konami for uh, delaying the one <laughs> booster pack I cared about uh, <laughs> six months till next year. I'm yeah, that must really, hurt. Really happy about that. <laughs> uh, but no, that's, that's it. All right, sounds good. Appreciate the profile, man. Yeah, Deck with sure. spice.